Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln. And today's prompt was Haunted Tree. This is all part of my October 3D sculpting challenge. Now this one took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do and I cut it down to about 35 minutes. And it's gonna have chapters so you can just skip ahead to what you wanna view. All right, I'm gonna put up the prompt list now. So day eight is starting the second week, which is gonna be the graveyard scene. And the tree is a big part of that. So that's why I wanted to take a little time and make it a little more detailed. Hey, if you guys would like to share anything on Instagram, use the hashtags at the bottom of the prompt list or in the description below, and I'll see your work online. Okay, let's go and make a haunted tree. Okay, first thing, let's get rid of this default sphere. I'm gonna add a cube or a box. And this is version 1.66, and there's a bug in here right now in version 14 that I need to reset that uh, gizmo tool so it'll shrink properly. Not a big deal. You guys won't have to do that. I'm going to blow this up so i got a place to put the tree. Alright, that works. Let's go ahead and validate that. Now we're going to put a tube in here. Let's click to the front view. Now on this one, this sculpt, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of fast forwarding simply because it this is going to be a lot of detail on this probably so if uh, I'll just skip ahead as as I need to all right let's move this thing over a little bit get it kind of center of the world now I'm going to click on this I want all the radiuses so we can make this thing kind of gnarly now the cool thing with these if you guys have played with these at all with the nodes you can you get something pretty crazy really quick so let's see here add nodes and move them around I want this thing kind of so I want it pretty gnarly and I want it to be coming forward and I also want it coming trying to kind of come out of the ground as well so we'll see how how we get there from here I also want it to be kind of the um, oops, cartoon style tree ish you know you know what I'm hopefully know what I'm talking about so we'll kind of get this gnarled up a little so on the ends you know when you're wanting to tweak these around you have to keep the this end node open because if you have it all the way down here you can't hardly move it it's unless you zoom in a lot so that's that's kind of a headache so I want these to be kind of cartoonish so I'll move them around a little bit but I still want it kind of spooky looking It's a nice gnarled looking thing. Let's move this up a little bit because we need some room to sculpt. I got a pretty cool, pretty cool idea for this, I think. Alright, so that's good for the first one. Now I'm gonna add another one. Add another tube. Uh, let's see, this one, I think, whoops. That one's good. So then let's do another arm off here that and the cool thing with this you can just kind of add them in so that looks good right there I don't know if we'll do two or three arms on here probably uh, if you double tap on the screen you can get a little bit better angle and it'll stop moving around so much on you so let's give this thing a little bit more movement and make it nice and gnarled so it's kind of spooky looking there we go that looks kind of kind of nasty i'm liking it there we go 
It's got some good movement. It has some pretty good movement to it. You just want it to move, you know, a little bit of movement. Is that way when you're all looking all around it, it looks better. And, you know, rules of odd when you're doing, doing anything like this usually is better. So let's do one more. So click on curve. Oops. So I want this coming from the back, but then I want it all coming forward. These coming forward a lot more. I probably should have done this from this side. It would have been better probably. That's okay, we'll make it work. Click on this one, move it over. That that's better. Just kind of keep them from being on top of each other. There we go. And zoom in. So at this point, I will probably speed up a little bit because I'm going to be at this a minute, probably fixing these. And I don't know. I mean. I may have already sped it up before this too, so we'll see. All right, that looks pretty good. That'll be good enough to kind of give us a cool spooky tree. So I think for that, I'm good with that. Okay, so here I'm gonna come around to the front. We'll go and validate that. And let's see, this one, suck it in a little bit. There we go. Validate that one. Validate that one. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, yeah. We should probably give all these a little bit of subdivision. Otherwise, it's not going to have, going to be hard to sculpt on them. And we don't have to do as much smoothing later. Okay. That looks good. All right. Validate all of these together. Okay. They're all validated. Now I'm going to grab all three of these and let's click to the right. I want to just kind of give them all a little, give this thing a little bit of a lean forward maybe. That looks better. Let's go right there. Okay, now let's start giving this thing a little bit of a mouth. First I'm just going to trim this off with the base. I'll trim that. Rectangle's good. There. Alright. Looks better. sub I'll start working mouth into this I want the mouth kind of at the base I think I like that crazy intensity let's make this thing move all right so now we're starting to get some 
weirdness going on and that's fine we'll come in and remesh there we go Let's smooth it up a little bit and flatten it right there smooth again all right it's looking pretty good now I'm gonna go in and grab the move tool here and just suck this in now just makes it easier if you I think it makes it a little bit easier if you use the inflate tool first before you get the move tool and that's that's totally by choice whatever you feel like doing but I think this works a little bit better get some good movement going in here and I want it kind of you know a little a little bit of movement and shape to the inside here that looks pretty good I don't want it just a hole I want it to look like something's going on there a little bit all right I like that now let's decrease the size we come in and suck in a little bit just kind of you can kind of see what's going on there got some eyes going screen here all right let's use the inflate tool on sub again all right this is box remesh it smooth it a little bit this is like using the smooth tool after you use the sub or the inflate inflate tool on sub just to make sure that it's doing what we want pretty good use the move tool some more just gonna make it make the tree a little a little more angry okay that's looking good all right and just kind of start working it giving it a little more form for a face. face here okay I like that that's looking looking pretty good all right Get a nice, nice look going on there. All right, I like that. mesh a bit want this nice deep for those eyes all right I like that 
remesh again. All right, so let's do the move tool. And now we're just going to start pulling. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go over here. Go up here and take a look at what we got. Now if you come in here we can change this up a little and I think I'm going to customize this a little bit and give us a little bit sharper fall off. There, let's try that. Yeah, that's too much. Okay. So we'll go to the presets, but let's go to a sharper preset. Let's go that one. That should give us a little more of what I want. A little too sharp, so let's increase the size and we'll soften it up a little bit. There we go. Of course, we need some coming up from the bottom. looking looking sufficiently angry I like it I don't like that let's go and remesh and you'll see you'll lose some sharpness there so let's not do that I think we come in and Multi-res, let's subdivide a couple times. There we go, that'll be nicer. Go back to the move tool. There we go. All right, I like that a little bit more. Just want them all a little, want them a regular little bit. Good enough. I like it. Okay. So now for sure I'm gonna speed it up and we'll just texture these limbs a little bit and give it some shape. So I'm gonna go into the clay brush and I think we'll just use the the regular scratch out of your regular nomad and we'll change this to probably this wider one. Um, you know what, I'm going to come in here, it'll be better if we do it this way so it's not quite so long, you know, as far as how much you have on there, let's do something like that, that way it doesn't get so extreme, increase the radius, I don't like that one too much. Okay, so let's go in here. And I have other ones. And this one, at this point, if you don't have these, I have ones that are actually bark. And a, so we'll do regular bark one. And I got this out of Procreate and the natural, I think it's natural um, textures. So we'll give it a little bit of something here. So, there. let's go to your regular stamp brush and we'll put it on there. Pork. Let's 
So you can see here it has a hard stamp. So let's go up just a little bit. It'll just give us some easy texture. Now you'll see it has a nice fall off at the bottom there, which is kind of what you want. And I'll put a link up for my Alpha's tutorial to help you with this if you don't have one like this. Give this tree some gnarly texture. I don't really want it in the eyes so much, or the mouth. I want it just on the surfaces. So here, just using the flat brush to give it, leave the texture in place, but then give it a little bit more movement and shape. And you can always come back in and put a little bit more texture back in. And just go back and forth. Now I'm gonna move this up here, along with the flat brush right next to it. That makes it a little bit easier to keep track of it. So let's go back to solo. And if you run the flattened brush a little oversized, you'll see it kind of sucks in on those smaller branches a little bit. And then if you want to give it a little more twist and gnarl, Grab the crease brush, we'll put it up next here. You can crease, get a little more shape going. And I'll fast forward through this because this is gonna, this will take a while to work this all. So we'll fast forward through all this too. Okay, now I'm gonna grab all of these and we're gonna come up a little bit. And we're gonna start moving this down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off for now. So we'll turn that off and click on this one. I'm gonna grab the, uh, where is it? The move tool now. We're going to bring this down and we're going to change this back to a big one. Actually, we'll go with that one. Oops, need to bring the radius down because I want just okay. So, to fix what's going on, come in here, go to the bottom, and click on front facing vertex only. That way, it's not trying to pull everything. I need to pull some down.
Actually, let's use the inflate instead. Cook it off sub, make it bigger. This will work. There we go. Move tool is a little too extreme for what I want, so this will work. Uh, I probably should have done this before I did all the texturing, but that's okay. Alright. Uh, no, smooth. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that either. So, it might be better at this point. What's the wire look like? Uh, that should pull okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do the brush, bring it down, a little bit bigger, yeah, there we go, that'll work a little better, okay, use the flatten brush, turn the wire off, bring this down, flatten this off a little bit here, And you, know, you can use whatever brush you want for this. I just want to bring this up a little off the ground. And we're going to put some roots so it's kind of coming off, coming up and off. tool and I'm going to start putting some roots on here so let's skip on forward to again Okay, so now I'm going to grab uh, the trim brush and just kind of clean up the bottom here a little bit. So grab the trim, grab a lasso, and just knock those off. Just clean them up a little. They don't have to be, I'm not worried about those, just the bigger ones. I like the gizmo, that looks good. Now these, if you just want to, these, I would just probably use the inflate sub and just knock them down just a little bit. That would be enough. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Now you notice here, you know, the texture's not all the same on all of it. And 
I wouldn't recommend doing the same amount of texture everywhere. It just doesn't look quite right. And I'm going to come in and smooth these teeth off a little right now. Let's come in and smooth these. Bring this way down. Just want to smooth those off because we'll paint those a little bit different. Just look better if these are smooth and a little more gnarly looking. And I think I want to make the teeth stand out a little bit more. So we'll do a little bit something. We'll do a little something there. And you see here we got something going on. So let's smooth that off a little bit. Hit that little texture again real quick. And smooth. It's just at this point it's just kind of a quick back and forth hitting your details that you want to do and let's solo that so it'll stop touching other things all right so that looks pretty good I like that all right let's give it just a little little more detail here and there so I'll skip ahead and you'll just kind of see what I got going on Okay, at this point, we're gonna grab all the tree and I'm just gonna paint everything. So we'll grab all this guy and we'll give it just some basic paint. Uh, let's give it uh, something kind of like that. We'll paint all. And this, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of subdivision so it'll smooth out a little that's perfect let's give it some quick paint give it more more of a red earthy color but let's go yeah something like that'll work let's paint that so we got kind of some separation now the tree is a little dark so let's try that again Let's move the lights around and yeah, let's brighten this up so we can see a little bit. Let's change the environment so I can see what's going on here. Uh, that one's pretty good. Let's go with this one. I can see it a little better. Right, so here I'm just going to paint the teeth so we'll speed it up again. So now we're going to add some eyes. So let's add a sphere. All right, here we go. We're going to clone him, move it over, and we'll have to move it out. Get him where we want. That looks good. Let's push him back a little further. Well, I'm kind of back deep in the tree. Okay. Now, let's grab those two. So let's turn everything else off. Those two spheres. So we'll turn this off and these off. Let's paint these. Mm. That's red. We'll paint them. Paint. Let's go in here and let's do um, additive for both of these. Then we're going to put a light behind both of them. So 
Those always take a little bit to place. up and let's turn everything on see how we did yeah there we go just kind of a nice glow in there all right so you can bring those up and make that a lot more intense light but that should do it Okay, that's a cool haunted tree. So if you guys are enjoying these, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.